guys, I hope you're doing well. Today the weather in Nijmegen is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so today's vlog is going to be about different libraries that are available on the campus and that was actually a topic that was requested uh, previously like on a video that we did. So we thought that it would actually be a good idea to do it because it could be of general interest to you guys. So we're going to walk around the campus a little bit, show you the different libraries that are open today. Um, but some of them will be closed, so you will have to discover some of them on your own. So the libraries that we're going to visit today are going to be the Central Library, which is right behind me, the Library of Science, which is a little further back there, <laughs> and uh, the Library of the law, law, it, law Library, the Law Library, which is this way, and you actually saw part of it already in the vlog about the cafes and places where you can chill. So I'm currently sitting in the central library, more specifically the lounge, where you can have a nice drink with friends or you can discuss things for your group works, etc. In this area, you also have the Center for Academic Writing, which is really, really helpful if you have a paper or an essay to write for your course. Um, basically, they help you with providing you with feedback, uh, with structuring your paper and so on. So if you need help with that, know that you can go to the central library in order to get help with yeah, writing your paper. So in this area, you can basically buy snacks at vending machines, you can have drinks, coffee, tea, um, soft drinks, anything really. Uh, you have the cafe where you can buy so drinks and uh, also food. And you have different areas where you can sit and discuss things with friends or just chill, do whatever. You also have workout rooms where you have space to discuss things with your uh, fellow classmates. Um, about different assignments that you have, etc. So it's, it is a working area, but it's just that you can talk there and discuss things with your working partner. So part of the central library is comprising a computer room where you have a lot of computers uh, to work on in case you don't have a laptop or if you need special programs that are required for your study but you cannot have on your personal laptop. Um, you also have printers um, and some couches where you can study pretty well. And it's a quiet area. <laughs> So in this room, basically, you can pick up a book when you decide to borrow it. Uh, it's very simple, you just borrow the book, they indicate where you can find it, and you just pick it up here on the shelves and enjoy! And basically, you have to search for it. Like the first letter of your name, you go there, and you search for the book you ordered, and then you look at one of those, and see if that's your name, then you can take the book, Take it home, have fun.
also lovely people. We're now in the law building and we're going to visit the law library. Uh, this is a building that you've already seen that we now in previous law, but we're going to show you the library part because that's the part we did not actually get to show you. <laughs> um, so it's kind of it's going to be a bit of a discovery for us as well because we don't actually know this library that well. So let's just all explore together at the same time. God damn. Let's go back. Is it closed? No, the entrance is located on the ground floor. Oh. <laughs> See, this, is, this really shows we don't know anything about this library. <laughs> but it was on the first floor? Ah, no, not so much. <laughs> But hey, you get to see the first story. Okay guys, that was it for this vlog. I hope you got to enjoy it and then you got a better idea of the different kinds of libraries that you can have access to on the campus. Let us know in the comments which one you actually preferred from this vlog and I will see you in another vlog.